welcome back to the channel. My name is Giselle and I'm an ultrasound technologist and today I am ready to go back to work after being off for 15 days. Yes guys, it's been a while since I have taken you to work with me so today we're gonna take you to work and hopefully we can remember things. I've been out of work longer than two weeks. I've been out of work one time for three weeks because I went to the Philippines and uh, during the pandemic at the beginning stages I actually didn't work for three months so really two weeks is not a big deal but I am recovered now I do feel better and I'll talk a little bit more about what happened to me uh, I got really really sick um, I did get tested for COVID three times in the last two weeks so I'll go ahead and let you guys know the results for those later but let's go ahead and go to work I'm very Excited to go back to work. You guys know I love my job. I love taking you guys with me to the hospital. We're gonna talk about what I go through tonight and see what it's like. I am working Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. I don't know if I'm gonna take you to all three days because that's a lot, but maybe just taking you today so you can see what I kind of go through on my first day back. So yeah, hope you guys are ready to enjoy this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos. And if you like videos like these, please comment below and let me know that you like Day in the Lives and coming to work with me. So with all that being said, let's go to work. Basically what I do when I come in is I clock in, I put my lunch away in the fridge, grab all the things that I need from my locker, which are like my goggles that I need to wear, some shoe covers. I'll put my stuff away in the cabinet and then I get to the schedule. I look at it, make sure it's updated, make sure that every exam that came out of the printer is written on the paper schedule. And then I look at the computer and compare the computer to the paper schedule. So I write down who scanned what already, what's already been done, what is not on the schedule anymore, check if things have been canceled. And then from there, we figure out where I need to go next. So it looks like in the ER, uh, we have someone in the ER, so they're taken care of. We have two orders in the labor and delivery. Someone's going there to go do it now. And there's a stat pediatric ER. It's an abdominal ultrasound. So I'm gonna go head over there, put on my handy dandy shield. Handy dandy shield, and we're gonna go and scan. <laughs> I can't do this with one hand. Okay, I'll put this on later. We're gonna go and scan this pediatric exam. It's a three year old status post appendectomy. So they got their appendix removed. So they're having abdominal pain, and we're gonna go check it out and see what's going on.
right, you guys, so I just finished that. Basically, it was an abdomen limited because we were just scanning the area of concern where the patient had the pain, which is in the right lower quadrant and at the umbilicus area. So yeah, it was a pretty tough exam, actually. There was some stuff going on and uh, poor kiddo, he was in a lot of pain and he had to endure that exam. So, you know, sometimes you're gonna have to do babies and pediatric patients who are in a ton of pain and you have to try to get through the exam as best as you can. But I had that one, which was a little bit difficult to do. And then just now they ordered a pyloric stenosis, which is to check the pylorus muscle in the abdomen for a baby. And then they also ordered an appendix ultrasound. So I'm gonna check the kiddo's right lower quadrant area, check to see if I can see the appendix. I've got those two exams to go. So looks like we're just sticking around in the pediatric ER tonight for right now. So let's go. Fun, 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 pediatrics. I think one of you guys asked me how often do I get pediatric exams? Well, I work at a children's hospital. It is also a general hospital that has a ton of things in it. It has labor and delivery, it has NICU, PICU, it has a trauma center, it has a burn unit, it has cardiovascular, oncology, your regular med surge. It's just got a ton of stuff. We get a lot of pediatric exams here. Now, if you are at another hospital that doesn't have a children's hospital, you will be getting pediatrics here and there, but sometimes those patients patients will go to a children's hospital if there's one nearby or sometimes they get transferred to a children's hospital. So you don't see pediatrics as much at a regular hospital, but you will because say a pediatric patient is having a ton of issues or something going on, they're gonna go to the nearest hospital. They're gonna make sure everything is okay, but then if they need more specialized exams, if they need more pediatric doctors and radiologists, they're gonna send them to a children's hospital. So that's what we are. So we see a lot of pediatric patients. So that was my first one and I have two more to do. So let's go, we chugging along. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're back from scanning those pediatric patients. I actually added one more pyloris exam to the end of that. So I just did three patients. I did a pyloric stenosis, an appendix ultrasound, and a pyloric stenosis. So both pyloric stenosis patients did not have a stenosis, so that's good news. And the appendix patient did not have appendicitis seen under ultrasound, so that's also good news. And yeah, so what I did was do the exams, write up my reports, sent it to the radiologists. The radiologists are the ones that write up the final report for the patient. And then they let the nurses and the ordering doctors know. And those nurses and ordering doctors will tell the patient uh, the results. So now I'm gonna go over to the ER because the ER is getting a little bit busier. There are currently three patients over there in the ER. My fellow coworker is over there scanning right now. So I'm gonna go over there and help her and we'll go from there. It has been a pediatric night so far. It is 10 20 p.m. So the next exam that they ordered is a testicular exam. So I'm gonna use this ML615 and we're gonna change the settings to that probe. Then we're gonna change it to small parts and we're gonna click on scrotal. So what that does is it changes the settings to the machine so that we get the correct settings that we want for a scrotal exam. Usually what I'll do is play with my frequency or play with the focus and the dynamic range to help the images look nicer. So here we go. So I just finished that testicular. At first I couldn't find him. He didn't answer me in the waiting room and I had to go find him again. And I finally found him. He was a pretty difficult scan as well. A lot of times patients will have very, very swollen testicular areas and we scan them to make sure that they have no hematomas, fluid collections, any stones, masses. We make sure that the testicles have flow to them because you want to make sure there's blood flow. And yeah, it was a pretty difficult exam, you guys, but I got through it. Uh, we got to go over to the pediatrics ER again because they ordered a peds pregnancy limited exam. She is pregnant. And then we're going to labor and delivery after that for another pregnant woman. So that is what we do. We go from patient to patient. We scan one scan and then go to the next scan and then go to the next scan. That's basically what your job is going to be like if you're going into this field. Enter your pin followed by pound. Ultrasound. Hello. 
You have four new voice messages. New messages. Okay, update. So it is now 1.18 a.m. I did that pregnancy on the peds case and I did the labor and delivery pregnancy case and then I stocked up the room. I made sure that I wrote up all my reports for the doctors and they're both already read so they're pretty quick here when it comes to reading the exams. And then they just ordered another pediatric exam. So I'm gonna walk all the way to the peds ER again. So today seems like a pediatric day for me. Interesting, but it's a nice welcome back after not working for 15 days. <laughs> okay guys, so now what I'm gonna do after having some downtime is go through this whole stack of papers and we're gonna check to see if these patients had prior exams or prior CAT scans, MRIs, that'll help us determine if they had any prior exams to help us take a look at their history before we do their ultrasound. I'm gonna check to make sure that these patients are in the correct rooms and that the requisitions have all the information that they need on them so that in the morning when they come in, they can just grab these requisitions and go do these patients and it'll all be updated. So that's what I typically do around this time. It's 3 a.m. and we finally made it to lunchtime. I'm gonna go eat because my tummy is hungry. And I just came back from upstairs from scanning a baby belly to check for fluid and a right lower extremity venous to check for a blood clot. So time for lunch because I'm hungry. <laughs> Hey there, so back from lunch, did a venous ultrasound on a patient who was in the mini, which means they are on hold for some reason, for some crazy reason or weird reason, where they will need to have security with them if they're going around the facility. So this patient had to have security with them, so I went portable and I just brought my machine to the mini area and scanned the patient there. My next patient I'm gonna do is a pleural effusion patient. So it's also portable. I'm gonna take my machine, go to their room and scan the back of their chest. It's basically the posterior chest and we're checking around the lungs to see if there's any fluid, which is called pleural effusion. Pleural effusion is fluid around the lungs. So we're gonna go take a look and do that. It's a pretty quick test. It takes about five minutes really to do, unless it's a difficult patient. But yeah, gonna go do that and see where the rest of this night takes us. It is almost 5 a.m., so that's exciting. We're almost there, guys. Two and a half hours left. Yay! You guys, we've made it. We made it, we made it, we made it. I had a lot of abnormal studies today. And when you scan patients, you never know what you're gonna find. I mean, it's like we're detectives and you don't know what you're gonna find in these patients' bodies. And it was a rough first day back, let me tell you. I had a ton of things like a hematoma in the scrotal sac. It was huge, by the way. I had a fetal demise. I had a patient who was having a miscarriage. I had a patient who had huge pleural effusions. Today was just a crazy day. That patient with the abscess, I mean, whew. It was a crazy day, but we made it through. I've got a couple of minutes left, so what I'm gonna do is go stock things, make sure that the rooms are clean and the machines are clean, and the next person comes in soon, and they're gonna take over. The schedule is pretty much ready for them to take a look at, for them to go and take the exams and go off with their days and scan their little hearts out. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna do that, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, you guys, we made it. Oof, 12 hours of work, graveyard, and we're gonna do it all over again today, tonight, and then we're gonna do it all over again tomorrow. So three shifts of 7 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. That is my work for the next three days technically now too. It was a very busy day. You guys saw all the exams that I did today. 
and it's just a variety of different exams. It's basically what's going to happen when you work in a hospital. You don't know what you're going to get, and it is just exciting. It's kind of like ultrasound roulette. What are you going to get today? <laughs> So I'm sure you guys are curious about the coronavirus tests that I did. I did get tested three times in the last two weeks. I had fevers, headaches, cough, body aches, and there was a couple days where I couldn't taste my food. And all three times I tested negative. So somehow I tested negative. I don't know what the odds are of getting false negatives are, but I got three negative tests. So. Your girl hasn't had COVID yet, so that's good news. I may have just gotten a really, really bad flu or cough or cold or I don't know, but whatever it was, it was really bad. I couldn't do anything really. I just quarantined in my room, but I am feeling much better. I had a really good, challenging day today, so hopefully tonight it's not as bad. But as you guys can see, one day of work gives you guys a lot of content. So hopefully the next time I bring you guys along to work with me, you'll hear more about other ultrasound things and other exams. And yeah, if you guys like these kinds of videos, please let me know. Please let me know what you guys want to see, what questions you have. Don't forget that I have an ultrasound discord where a lot of us, including students, sonographers, graduates, people who are just curious are in that discord. So if you want to join, please let me know. Send me a DM on Instagram or email me and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was a long busy day I'm gonna go home and take a nap it's my uncle's birthday so we're gonna celebrate I'm going to give him his gifts that I got him um, me my sister my mom my family basically chipped in to get him a basket of things that he loves I'm gonna make a charcuterie board and make him some shrimp cocktail because he loves shrimp cocktail so that's gonna happen later today after I nap my aunt in Chicago also wanted me to get him this nothing bunch cake that she ordered online so I'm gonna go pick that up too later on after I wake up and yeah it's just this is what you got to do to have a life outside of ultrasound if you really wanted to on graveyard shifts you could still if you can manage taking a nap and just doing your daily things it's possible it's not always gonna be this way for me but as a per diem I will have crazy schedules and it is what it is. I'm okay with that. I'm young and for the most part healthy. I mean, I'm pretty much recovered, pretty much ready to take on the world. I hope you guys take care of yourselves, wear your masks, stay safe. If you get sick, drink a lot of water, fluids, eat food because I know it'll be hard to eat, but just know that you are stronger than you think. It might be hard now, but remember later on, you'll look back at it and be like, <laughs> I hope you guys have a great day, stay positive, be kind to one another, and I'll we'll see you on the next video. Bye!